What's up, everyone? Smurf here again. This is episode three of my leveling a hunter through grinding series. In this episode, I am going to discuss how much gold he has made, where he is in his professions, and where I am currently grinding. But before I do all that, I do have a question for you guys. I have gone Beast Mastery, that's the specialization I have chosen just because I feel it's probably one of the best when you're grinding. My question is, should I add talents to the specialization or should I leave them blank all the way to level 90? In the comments section below you will see that I have left two comments. One says put talents, the other one says don't put talents. Vote up whichever one you would like to see me do. In the last episode, I asked if I should use only drops and profession gear, or if I could also get gear on the auction house. At the making of this video, I am looking at it and they have both received 16 thumbs up. So it appears that it has reached a tie, so the way that I'm going to do this is, the only gear that I will be buying off the auction house is the gear that I cannot make, such as my weapon, rings, neck, back piece, unless leather workers can make back pieces, I don't know, I've never leveled leather working. But if I can't, then that will be also bought off the auction house. But everything that I can make, I will definitely make for myself, and I will not purchase on the auction house. I feel that since it was a tie, that this would be the only fair way to do this. So I will not use, or I will not use, yeah, I will not use the auction house to purchase any items that I can make as a leather worker. But I will use the auction house for things that I cannot make. So currently my hunter is sitting at level 14. He's almost level 15. Of course, he's only gained XP through killing mobs. Pretty soon, I will be going from Westfall over to Red Ridge and farming some mobs there. There's a place I know that has a very quick respawn timer, and I like to go farm in those places a little bit more than just trying to search for mobs because it makes it a little bit quicker and it's a lot more fun that way. If you all haven't noticed yet, I'm kind of including you all into the leveling process by asking two questions. Questions that you can decide on how I do things. So I'm making this a little bit interactive. I think that's pretty cool. And I'm restricting myself to whatever you guys choose. In case you guys missed my last video, it was an intro for the network MM Ownage. I am a new director over there. And this video will also be placed there. So if you're watching it here, this is a message for the people on my personal channel. Be sure to go check out the MM Ownage network. I will have a link in the description box and give them some love. A lot of great directors over there posting videos of all different types of games. Many of you have been asking if I'm going to be continuing the mount farming series. That series has definitely not come to an end. There's a lot of mounts for me to cover and a lot of videos to put out for you guys. Seems to be a very popular series, so I don't plan on quitting that one. When something is popular, you don't want to stop. But anyway, the reason why I haven't put one out in quite a while is because of Mists of Pandaria's release, and I wanted to experience the new content and put that on hold, you know, till the till Mists has been out for a little bit. Since it's been out for a little while, I'm going to go ahead and pick up where I left off. I will be doing the Green Proto Drake. Should be out within the next couple of days, so I'll be looking forward to that. If you're watching this here on MM Onage and you have no idea what I'm talking about, then head over to my channel and and subscribe because that is where I am putting out a bunch of mount farming videos showing you guys where to get various mounts in some of the older world content. Some stuff that you may not know about or have forgotten about since it's been out for so long. But ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Be sure to check the comment section and vote on whether I should put talents into my specialization or not. Let me know in the comment section if you have anything to add to that. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, take care.